Hello internet, I'm Uduka. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share my two cents on literally anything and people who subscribe, subscribe for the vibes because I talk about different things all the time and oh, gosh, today was like, it's a tough day for me at work. Um, I was like, you know what? Let me just finish my work. And I'm not going to put I'm not going to put in extra today. I'm going to do my work, call it a day. Um partner is on a work trip. So I have the place to myself and I'm like, "Oh, so peaceful." And you know, I love YouTube. Just like how you're watching me. Like you're whatever, you're just chilling in your bed, on your couch, whatever, doing the dishes, whatever. That is what I do. That's how I relax. And the, all this Trisha Paytas stuff keeps coming up. And then all of this Nicki Minaj stuff keeps coming up. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm just not going to be able to relax today, am I? So let's talk about SA. Let's talk about it. There is a YouTuber, she's an essay advocate, and I love, listen, if if you're one of these people who, like, just can't believe that there's something that Mysterious T says that I disagree with, you need to watch this lady's um, YouTube video. Hold on. Okay, this is her channel. Her name is Katie Daisy, and she does a really good job. Just explaining, because people are like, who cares that Mysterious T said something triggering about essay? Actually, a lot of us care, actually. And she does a really good job at explaining why we care. Uh, what are the repercussions of continuing to discuss essay in the manner that, some, that sometimes Mysterious T and a lot of other channels that would take what Mysterious T said and and just run with things that were not meant to be said. Anyway, I highly recommend you check out Katie Daisy. And it I just feel like I am really tired of trying to explain to people how how it's really weird to play armchair psychologist on what it, on who's an essay survivor and who's not um it's really tiring trisha just uploaded um another my Chemical Imbalance podcast. I watched two minutes and 30 seconds and then I had to X out. Um, I find Trisha Paytas uh, deplorable. Um, I also find Mysterious T. <laughs> I also find Mysterious T deplorable. Well, now all of her videos are removed, but at least her videos were mostly sharing evidence of things and not me having to uh, tolerate her opinions. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm not, so I'm not going to do a reaction to that. I'm, for those of you who you enjoy my reaction videos on Trisha videos, I'm not reacting to this. I'm not. And it seems like for most of the time she's talking about her own mental health. So that's even, even if I could just sit here and stomach it, I'm not what I'm not going to react to somebody discussing their own mental health problems. I don't know. Like I'm just um this is one I'm just ignoring and this is what you guys have to accept. You guys have to and I'm going to talk about Nicki Minaj in a sec. By the way, I am a barb, okay? But what you guys have to especially if you're a, mysteri a Mysterious T fan, you need to accept that Mysterious T was not run off the internet. She chose to get off the internet 
And you should be applauding her for taking care of her mental health. I don't like that she got off the internet. I, I don't like her, but I also don't like that she removed all her videos and she just ran away from accountability. But I can appreciate that she, instead of just spiraling out of control online, recognized where her mental health boundaries were and drew the line and, you know, is taking care of herself. You should be, ha- you should be happy for that as well. Okay, and sure, we'll have to watch re-uploads of her Trisha videos if we want to see them, then then so be it. But the discussion is, the ball has rolled, the drama channels are discussing, Trisha is canceled. But here's the thing about cancellation, y'all. Nobody, have you noticed that nobody really gets canceled for long? You only get canceled if you cancel yourself. Right. So people are trying to say mysterious. He got canceled. She's not canceled. She was never canceled. We we didn't even get that far. We didn't even get that far. Okay, first, she she needed to actually answer the questions people were asking. We didn't even get that far. She canceled herself. Shane Dawson got canceled and then he canceled himself by not coming back. Now people are mad that Trisha Paytas is posting again because to them, the fact that she's posting again means that she's not canceled. What is wrong with y'all? The, the, those who think that way, what is wrong with y'all? Trisha Paytas is never going to leave the internet. And people are like, oh, everyone's going to forget. Yes. Trisha Paytas has been canceled before. She's, wasn't, wasn't it in one of Mysterious T's videos that she played Trisha Paytas kind of laughing like, I'm always canceled. I'm like a, I'm like a cockroach. You can't get rid of me. I'm always canceled. Like, I don't know how young, I don't know how young some of you are. I don't know how young some of you are, but it's, there's a cycle. There's a cycle. Um, I mean, You pretty much just, you pretty much have to go to jail to actually be canceled. You you have to go to jail or have a career that's not as flexible as a YouTuber with a built-in audience. Like she has a built-in strong audience that has dwindled in size, but she still has people who love and admire her online. She's always going to have, be able to have a career. Gabby Hanna, y'all think you canceled Gabby Hanna? She's posting on her OnlyFans. She, Gabby Hanna has people who, despite the drama, they want to give her money. Y'all, so anyway, I just had to share this perspective because a lot of essay talk is going on right now. And if you don't know what's going on with Nicki Minaj, honey child, okay, listen, Let's just watch Empress's video. Let's just watch it together. If you don't know Nicki Minaj, her husband, Kenneth Petty, is an S.O. bender, okay? And it's been causing a lot of drama lately. And people feel like, you know that whole thing of Nicki Minaj saying, my cousin's friend took the... Black Sainar. I have to. I have to change how I say the words. Apparently, you can't say the Black Sinino, but you know, her friend's cousin took the job, and his cojones swell. And she just told this story that everyone's like, "Girl, what are you talking about?" And it got all these people talking, and now. Everybody who's like into this, like, you know, into Nicki Minaj drama, we're all like, that was a distraction. Like, that's the that's the conspiracy right now. That was a distraction because her husband has a lot of issues. And Pr- Empress can maybe can break it down a little better than I can. Sued by a woman who claimed. Oh, sorry. 
next topic, Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty, are currently being sued by a woman who claims that they were intimidating her and harassing her and trying to get her to recant her testimony about the incident that happened between her and Kenneth Petty. Now, this past Wednesday, the victim so, Jennifer... So, in 1994, Nicki Minaj's husband, Kenneth Petty, was charged of attempted R-word against this woman. Okay? So... That is why Kenneth Petty is on the SO list. So Nicki Minaj marries him. Now, everybody, listen, everybody was begging Nicki not to marry him, myself included, okay? We just kind of feel like you are Nicki Minaj. You are like, you are the queen. Why are you marrying a peasant? <laughs> it just didn't make sense. But then... But then I was like, okay, she's in love. They, they, She loved him when she was a teenager. I think she, he was her first love. I have suspicions. Now, I'm not, I'm not even going to speculate. Listen, I need, I'm trying to be careful about when I speculate publicly in a video and when I don't. I'm trying to like learn how to tither, tither, fatter that line, but. I'm not, no, I'm not going to say, it. I'm not going to say it, but you know, okay, she's in love. But then we find out he has a rack sheet for this attempted R word. She, she, this is Jennifer Hughes. She's the victim. This is the first time she is showing her face that she's exposing her whole being. She's, she claims that it legitimately, it happened, but he only got convicted of attempted. Um, he also is charged with M. It rhymes with border. Yeah, he. So you know, doesn't stand sound like the stand up guy, and we just felt so confused because this was also in the midst of Nicki Minaj's brother, who is he is now proven guilty of. R word of a of a child. Um, can I even say can I even say that word on on YouTube anymore? Child, can I say that word? R word of somebody who is under the age of ten. I think she was. I don't know. If she was like seven or six. Or Honey, I don't know. I don't want to think about it because I'm going to start crying on here. Um, and Nicki Minaj was defending him, supporting him, paid his bail, bail, paid for his lawyers, all of that. And Nikki's doing the same for her husband. And it just feels like, how are you attracting? It just feels weird. It's like you have these two men in your life who are prominent people in your personal life that you're taking care of. And it's just like, Nikki, what is this? What does this mean? You know, and I give the benefit of you can take care of family the way you see fit, you know, but also it's weird. So anyway, we all just felt like, why would you marry somebody with this? I personally just accepted, you know what? The heart wants what it wants, it wants, want, 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 wants. The heart wants what it wants. But now it's coming out that she's causing trouble for this Jennifer Hugh. Um, she has told some lies about her. She kept, you know, trying to imply that she's a white woman. She's not a white woman, okay? She's obviously not white. She's actually mixed. Um, she uh, kept saying that she wanted to retract years ago, but she thought she would go to jail. And everyone's like, Nikki, if she was going to re retract her statement or recant her statement for free years ago, why wouldn't she recant now that you are allegedly offering her money? It's just some of the victim blaming. 
happening via Nikki's mouthpiece, it, it's not adding up. Hub actually sat down and did an interview on the talk show called The Real, and she went into detail about what happened. For those who don't know the backstory, back in 1994, when Jennifer was 16 years old, she was approached by Kenneth Petty, who was also 16, and she said that Kenny put what she thought was a weapon to her back, and he lured her into his home, and he violated her. After this horrific incident happened, Jennifer actually ran to her school and alerted some authorities and Kenny was actually taken into custody. And this was a very difficult time for Jennifer because she was receiving threats. She was getting lied on by Kenny's parents and also her foster parents were even trying to pressure her to recant her story because they were fearful of how the situation would reflect on them. So it was a hot mess, but Jennifer did not recant her story. She stood her ground Strong. and Kenny ended up pleading guilty. He actually took a plea deal and took a lesser charge and Strong. served over four years in prison. Also, he had to register as an offender in the state of New York. Now, Nikki Minaj didn't come into the picture until years later. In fact, she actually dated Kenny when she was a teenager. He was in his early 20s at the time and she was only a teen, which is a whole nother issue in itself. And after they broke up, years went on by and they rekindled their relationship. And p it makes people feel like this Nikki, just the way she was raised, because if you're a Nikki stan, you know about her father. Um, You know, the, the most public thing that he's known for is setting her household ho home on fire um, and attempting to unalive her mother. Yeah. And, um, you know, obviously that is traumatic. Okay. And we kind of just suspect suspect there was probably a lot of other a bus going on in in that household and some of us wonder does some part of nikki kind of feel these things are normal does some part of nikki you know kind of feel like she can like she can um you know, coddle a busers or explain away um, the issue or, you know, is it something that she just feels like, oh, you know, whatever, just let it go. You know what I mean? Like, we wonder if just the way she was raised, you know, with, you know, all the things that her father put her family through, we just wonder where is your mindset when it comes to these things? Um, so I'll bring it back to the criticism I had of Mysterious T. When I found out her her tweets in my last video about Mysterious T, I didn't even I didn't even post all the tweets that I found, and I didn't I had I I couldn't even find all of them. I just found a small handful. And I'm like, this is really bad. And it's like when, once you kind of have an idea of where somebody's mentality is at when it comes to a bus and you and you wonder, do they just not take it like as seriously as the rest of us? You know, you like you. you it makes you wonder. Um. So we're like, Nikki, what is this? In 2018, when Nikki started dating Kenny again in 2018, his criminal history started to surface on the internet. And a lot of people were bringing up the fact that he had a R charge. I'm not going to say the word because YouTube is sensitive, but people started bringing up his case with Jennifer. And one person on social media insinuated that it was a white girl who falsely accused Kenny. And Nikki responded and said he was 15, she was 16, in a relationship, but go off internet. They weren't in a relationship. Y'all can't even run y'all own life. Thank you, boo. Now, what Nikki did not realize is Kenny told a lie to her. He mm -hmm. made it seem like he was in a relationship with Jennifer. And this was the same lie Nikki he allegedly so told his parents. <sighs> Kenny's parents showed up at my house. They spoke to the lady who raised me. They told all kind of lies and said that I was dating their son, which I didn't even know Kenny's dad. I didn't even know who he was, but he claimed he knew who I was. The amount of stuff that I went through at that time, I literally had to get out of the state of New York. 
when I was 16 years old in a hurry because people was threatening my life. They was threatening my little brother's lives. I had issues going on in the house with, with them family members. So you heard what Jennifer said. She talked about what she went through and she said that she was never in a relationship with Kenneth Petty, but it seems like he told other people that he was in a relationship with Jennifer to lessen the offense and make it seem like the interaction between them was consensual. But Jennifer said that was not the case. She said that she was violated by Kenneth Petty. And I believe Jennifer because Jennifer's story hasn't changed. And you can clearly see how much distress she's in just even recalling that traumatic incident. So she got on the reel and she told her story in front of cameras for the first time. And she sounds very convincing. Her body language seems in sync. And be, now that people have seen her face, more and more people are being sympathetic to her. But what's also sad is you can't like at the same time before this, there was so much essay victimization around this discussion. So much, I mean, very similar to what you're seeing about the Trisha Paytas stuff, right? Um, I don't, I, I don't, need, I don't even want to repeat it. I don't even want to repeat it. Um, but it, I understand how victims of F of SA is it must be so scary. People were trying to do anything and everything to to damage her character and then kind of tie that into Therefore, she must be lying that this person assayed her. Even though this person that she's claiming art her went to prison. It's kind of like, um, who's that friend of Gabby having Gabby Hamill? <laughs> Jesse smiles and how everyone was really upset like Gabby. What do you mean you don't know if, if she was lying or not? The dude she's accusing of aring her is convicted. It's in legal documentation. See, th this is why I'm like, it must be so scary. You can have the legal system got your back. It's documented in the court of law. And people will still fix their lips to say, you're lying. I can't imagine what that feels like. I hope I never have to. <sighs> this is why I was like, oh my gosh. I'm not going to have like a mental break today. <laughs> because of the Trisha stuff and this stuff happening at the same time and it's like all over my feed now things took a very messy turn last year in march when kenny was arrested now kenny relocated to the state of california by the way i have to say because every time i talk about mysterious t or trisha and i say anything that might be the least bit incy wincy bit sympathetic to trisha paytas there's some troll um, that has to be like, does that mean that? <laughs> so do, I don't know. Do I have to reiterate every time? I I personally do not like Trisha Paytas. Do I have to reiterate? Do I have to reiterate that I can dislike more than one person at the same time? I don't know. Let me know. Please let me know in the comments. Is this something that I really have to reiterate every time? Or do I need to just start doing block Kiana on trolls? Uh, let me know in the comments. After he got married to Nicki Minaj, but he failed to register as an offender. And this is what he's supposed to do. Because he's on the offenders list, he has to register as an offender in every state. But he failed to do that. And because he failed to do that, he was arrested and the situation blew up again. Kenny did end up taking a plea deal and it's possible that he might be facing some time for failing to register. Now, Jennifer actually filed a lawsuit against Kenny and Nicki. 
Jennifer actually alleges in her lawsuit that Nikki and Kenny were using their associates to try to pay her money to recant her story just so Kenny can petition to remove himself from the offenders list and not have to face time. This is what is being alleged. And even though Nikki and Kenny did not harass her or threaten her directly, Jennifer believes that they were sending people to get her to recant her story. Now you allege that Nikki and Kenneth were harassing you in what way? with them sending people to negotiate numbers as far as money is concerned with family members? Uh, so I'm, I don't know. I'm not going to get into the details of how much um, she allegedly was going to be asked to, to recant. Um, but it's an embarrassing number. It's like, it's like an insulting number. <laughs> it's an insulting number. Um, the other thing you got to put into consideration here is, uh, Kenny, Kenny, what's his name? Kenny Petty. Boom, oh, Lord, the man, the R man. He, um, he's making Nicki Minaj's life really difficult. Okay. Because of he's on this SO, um, people suspect, you know, Nikki said she didn't go to the Met Gala because it required the jab. And people suspect that, no, it's because there was a Chuck E. Cheese 1.5 miles from the set. Oh, I kid you not. This is a theory. I mean, it's true. There is a Chuck E. Cheese really close. But, you know, people are saying it's because there was a Chuck E. Cheese. So Kenneth couldn't be there. Um, people are saying it's because uh, this lawsuit uh, she got served the papers the next the day after the Met Gala. So people feel like, oh, she was trying to avoid the Met Gala because what if she got served papers at the Met Gala? That would have been really embarrassing. That would have been news. So there's all these theories. And um, it's making life very difficult. Um, I heard that he, Kenneth had to file some paperwork just to be allowed to go into the hospital to watch Nikki give birth to their baby boy. How annoying is that, right? You are a international rap, hip hop, pop sensation. And that kind of puts a snackle on, you know, who you can go see, where you can go. If you go on tour, yada, 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 it puts a snaggle. If you always have to be filling out paperwork every every step of the way, um, she was supposed to do a collab with Rihanna. We were so excited. I mean, what is more iconic than Nikki and Rihanna? Oh my gosh! But that is now done. Okay, Rihanna is Savage. It is called Fenty Savage for a reason. Okay. <laughs> No, Miss Fenty said, uh-uh, I'm sorry, girl. No, 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 I can't have this stuff. Mm. Call me when it's, call me when you figure it out. Right, um, there was supposed to be a Nikki document, documentary. Oh my gosh, that's not how I say that word. How do you, it's not documentary, it's documentary, doc, document, documentary, doc, uh, whatever. There's supposed to be a, a doc and that's been postponed. Oh, it's postponed again. Yo, after all this mess and said and done, I definitely want to see that doc. So this is causing a lot of problems. So Nikki and hubby are suing the state of New York. They're trying to get this removed. And they really want her to recant because if she recants, that helps their case to remove hubby from the SO list. You see? People approached my daughter. People approached her in a club and asked her about Kenneth Petty. And, and Nikki is the one who personally reached out to me. And then the threats that I received because I kept saying no to every offer, to every suggestion. Mm -hmm. The one who connected her to when Nikki personally reached out to her, um, allegedly the conversation was about, you know, Nikki said, cause you know, Nikki is really sweet. Like Nikki, when she talks, I'm like, you sound so freaking sweet. Like you're like, I, I would love to have, um, that amount of diplomacy and decorum. 
you know, I'm like, I see why, you know, I see why people like working with you. I see why, you know, you're getting as far as you got because you know, you know how to, you know, she knows how to, you know, she knows how to little massage, you know what I mean? And she was like, hey, sweetie, I heard um, that you really want to help. You really want to help us out in our situation. Because if it was me, first of all, I don't think it could ever be me calling a, a victim to ask her to recant. But if it were me, I would be like, hey, so you finna recant? <laughs> If it were me, I'm so blunt, but Nikki said, I heard that you want to help, you know, really appreciate it. We heard that you want to help, you know, and you know, Miss Jennifer said, um, help with what? No, um, I just, since you're talking to me, I would like for you to know woman to woman that this did occur. And Nikki's offering the 20 you know, offering 20, 20 K, you know, the one, you know, I'll sing happy birthday to your daughter, you know, I'll throw that in. And just uh, Jennifer said, no, no, no. Nikki just hung up. And Jennifer alleged that he was actually trying to do a street favor for Kenny by trying to get her to recant her. Mm -hmm. Started coming. So basically the middleman, the person who contacted me, he's the middleman. Yeah. Ooh. Um, I, who connected family members that I up a whole so thing. that's why she can't say that Nikki directly harassed her because the one time Nikki called Nikki was super sweet you know what I mean and then she didn't say she didn't protest when Jennifer was saying no no Nikki didn't retaliate she just hung up the phone you know what I mean so I'm going to be I'm very interested in how this court case will play out because you can't Nikki did not directly harass you and you have to prove that Nikki sent these people to you against her and her husband Kenny and filed a civil lawsuit against them so even though Nikki didn't threaten or harass her directly she's being dragged into this because of who her husband is and who he's associated with and also because she chose to get in there like she's she is choosing to be Captain Save My Man, which you're you're married to him. So I, I yeah I expect I I expect a wife to support her man and a man to support his wife. But to the extent that you're going, you go in, you put you put yourself in it. Now, one thing that I want people to always remember is Nicki Minaj did not R word anybody. Okay, so like we need to like sometimes I feel like the anger is so misplaced. Nicki Minaj did not R word, um, but I am incredibly dis disappointed. Um and I understand the sentiment. Nicki Minaj is a multimillionaire. <laughs> Not Grammy winning. Oh, I hate to say that. That's another drama. That's another T. She should have been. She should have been Grammy winning. Should have been Grammy winning. Platinum selling. Ultra mega diamond. Whatever. International sensation. She has a really cushy life. Um, and removing, getting her husband's name removed from the SO list would make it even cushier. But it's like, you want to have your cake and eat it too, which I'm a, I'm a fan of. I'm a fan of people having their cake and eating it too. But not when you're asking the victim to bend over and act as your table. You know what I mean? I don't understand why Nikki just, you know, you are in love with somebody with this thing on his record. And this is what your life has to be. This is what your life has to be. Um, 
Sure, sue sue the state of New York, sue them. You know, do act in your best interest. That makes sense. Act in your best interest. And you know what? <laughs> Maybe you just really believe your man. You really believe him. So you felt no qualms about asking this woman to recant. So go ahead and ask her to recant. But when she's saying no multiple times, you need to leave the victim alone. You need to leave her alone. You need to, and people are saying Nikki didn't put her on blast. Nikki put her on blast. Nikki never said her name, but if she ever were to come out, Nikki said so much about the victim that if she does come out, she's automatically on blast. And I don't blame Jennifer for coming out because Nikki was saying things that were not true about her story. And she made the mistake of trying to reach out to Jennifer because she's directly inserted herself in this mess and it could be used against her. Mm -hmm. Doing the money that was being offered, there is an assumption. It's possible that- All these pictures impressive is using are of Nikki is, ah, uh, Nikki is so beautiful to me. Oh my God, her hair, her makeup, her facial structure, everything. Ugh. I love Nikki and I just really hate this- current era of Nikki that we're in where we're talking about SA and um and just having to hear people discuss SA in in ways that there's that is not the way SA works and um is very triggering and even with this whole Trisha thing I mean along with you know talking about all the discrepancies that Trisha has has said over the years. And the main thing is that she made false accusations on, you know, a, a teacher who has since passed. And that was kind of the crux of the issue. That was the, that was the smoking gun. That was, that was the thing that Trisha did that was so bad that warranted anything and everything. And people, because of that, people just became very careless in the way they discussed us, say, including Mysterious T. Bless you, wherever you are now. And, geez, I mean, right now, it's like not emotionally safe to be in the drama streets, whether you on the YouTube drama side or the black Black Twitter drama side. Um, it's just not safe in these streets for the essay survivors. Um, some really triggering rhetoric is going on. Again, I'm going to close this video with highly recommending you check out Katie Daisy as she explains, you know, perspective on essay that you may not have known or realized or thought about that might give you some insight on how to be uh, more sensitive and more accurate when you're discussing essay or sh talking about your opinions about what's going on in either situation. <sighs> but as a barb, like I said in the video I made earlier this year, which... I know like 10 people watched, 10 people watched that video. So maybe like 30 people will watch this one. But as a Barb, why can't y'all use some common sense? This is the same question I ask of the mysterious T stance. Why can't you use common sense? Like why, why can't you just admit that your fave, it's doing something that's problematic. It's doing something that's wrong. It's doing something that I hope you don't personally stand for. Amongst all the other amazing, great things that he did, there's a reason I am a barb. I'm probably not harsh enough on, I'm probably not even harsh enough on Nicki Minaj. I'm, because I'm, bi I am, bi I am super biased. <laughs> I'm probably not even harsh enough. On Nicki Minaj about this situation. But can't can't we can't we just admit that, you know, 
This current era of the queen is sus. Can we, can we say that? We can say that. We can say that. We can say that, y'all. You know, we can say that. It's sus. It makes me really uncomfortable. It makes me sad. Um, yeah. But I don't know. Maybe out of the 30 people who see this, maybe I've helped one to better understand this, to check out Miss Katie Daisy's channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you feel about all this discussion this month about essay victims? How does it make you, how was it making you feel? What kind of thoughts are coming up for you? And, and how has it affected the way that you discuss the current drama? I want to know. Hopefully, I'll recognize you and we can start building a parasocial relationship because all the different opinions that comment under my videos, especially here lately, it's really enlightening, really interesting, and I really appreciate it. And I really appreciate that you could have been watching any other video for the last 40 minutes, but you chose to be hanging out with me Whew, on a day that I was not feeling today. And it's like the first day of autumn. And every year, the first day of autumn here in Texas, it gets so chilly. If you live anything up north of Texas, you're like, that's not chilly. That's not, that's hot. You, you would probably think today is hot, but it's chilly. It's chilly and it's gloomy. And, oh, uh, it, this is a whole mood that I don't want. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go change my mood right now. Until next time, much love, much luck. Peace out.